Hey everybody, I'm Betsy Romero from Hatari Labs, and in this tutorial, I will show you how to do a particle tracking modeling with ModelMuse and ModPath. ModPath is a particle tracking post-processing packages that computes and displays three-dimensional path lines based on the output from ModFlow. So, to show you how this works, I already have this flow model that has the following conditions. First of all, it has on the north a constant head condition which has a head value of 250 meters and as well here we have a south boundary constant head condition which changes according to the column where we are. At the same time, we have an injection well, which is this one here. And this one has an injection rate of 0.1 cubic meters per second. Also, we have here an extraction well, which is located here. And as you can see, it has a negative value, so it means that it is extracting water and the rate is the same so it's equal to 0.1 cubic meters per second another important thing to take into account is that we have a low hydraulic conductivity zone which is this one this rectangle over here if we go here to data sets here we can see that this is a low hydraulic conductivity value and this sun will be affecting how uh, the flow will behave. So, first of all, in order for this package to work correctly, it needs that our output uh, to be a binary data file. So in order to modify this, we go here to model, mod flow output control, and we change here in the heads. When you enter here the first time, you will probably find it here as formatted text, but you change this to binary. The model will run in the same way, it's just that the output files will be in a different format. That's all. So we have binary here and OK. Now, what we need to do is to activate modpad. For this, we go here to model, packages and programs, and here in post processors, modpad needs to be is checked. So you will find it like this. You just check it here. And what we what you need to check is that in the output mode, the simulation type is path lines. So you also click here and click OK. Now we have to select the contaminant source point which uh, in this case, is the injection well, this one. So I go double click on the well and go to Modflow features, this tab, and uh, go to Modpad. I need to check here in initial particle placement. And in this case, we will uh, be modeling with this grid because you can choose here how you want the particles to move, for example, from a grid as a cylinder or as a sphere or individual. In this case, let's try with grid, the first one, and we will choose the number of rows in the x direction will be 10. And also for in Y direction, we will have 10 as well. 
it will depend if you could put just one and you will have like uh, just well depends on the number if you put put a higher number you will get more path lines but if you put a smaller number you will get less path lines depends on how you want to see the flow you can play with these values in this case let's just leave it with 10 and click ok and first of all as, uh, as every time we work with this kind of packages we need to first run the flow model so we choose here this green arrow and click save okay it's done we can close this okay now now that we have run the flow model in order to run the mod path we click this other arrow around here and choose export mod path input files and click save okay it's here now i need to import my my results so i go i go here to this data visualization tool and in this case i need to choose here because in our previous uh, tutorials we've been choosing color grid to see the heads for example but here we need to choose this option modpad pad lines now i click here on the file and choose my a dot path file that will be created when we run modpath open and make sure that here it says show path lines this has to be activated in order for you to see it click apply and we can close this and here you can see the path lines and according to the color scale that we have chosen the more bluish lines are the path lines path line locations that are, that the contaminant will reach first uh, i mean faster while these areas that are like kind of reddish are the path line zones that will be reached later because here this is my color scale so this is this blue represents the uh, shorter times and these red lines represent the longer times also uh, it is seen that this extraction well has an influence in the particles it is causing that the particles in that area can't go further so this injection rate is um, working like a barrier and you don't have more particles of contamination going to this area but on the other side you can see that uh, the particles just move and reach the other boundary condition at the same time we can see uh, an interesting effect caused by the low hydraulic conductivity area which is here and how this one is affecting the movement of the lines because uh, it is deviating the flow and at the same time it causes to deviate these uh, path lines so this uh, contaminant is avoiding this area and going to the sides as you can see here so this is the end of this tutorial which i hope you have enjoyed and don't forget to keep on uh, checking hatari labs website because soon we will release an online course of groundwater modeling using ModFlow and ModelMuse. And in this course, you will learn how to build groundwater models and also apply tools like ModPath, as we did here. It will be a really interesting course. So if you like these videos, you will find it extremely helpful.
Also, if you have any questions about this tutorial or any suggestions, or you would like to see some uh, specific tutorial, just contact us and we will get in touch with you. So this is it. And until next time, bye bye.